So, the motorbike you just saw is a Yamaha L5TA 1965. And all I got was the frame and a few spare parts, but no motor. So I bought a Lifehand 140 to fit to it. Brand new. Great price. And then it has it comes with a carburetor. I think it's 26 millimeters, 24. And that's all well and good, but I bought a turbocharger. And the reason why I bought a turbocharger is because I'm thinking initially the motorbike had a 100cc two stroke motor and a four stroke will have less power than a two stroke. So I've gone down the avenue to uh, turbocharge things. So here's the original manifold for the, the carburetor and that sits on top of the life hand motor like this. So that's all well and good, but I can't put a throttle body on that because the mounting's wrong and there's no fuel injector because I'm going to go fuel injection. I'm not going to go through the carburetor or, or draw through the carburetor or push through the carburetor turbocharging, so I'm going to fuel inject the car, the motorbike so there's the it's a 28 millimeter no is it yeah 28 millimeter throttle body and there's a manifold for it the problem is this doesn't match the life hand the uh, holes are way too far apart and they're positioned wrong. <clears throat> I don't know if you can see that, but they're further apart on the manifold. So what I can do is I will double put double-sided tape on the manifold and I'll <clears throat> I'll line this these two together with a double-sided tape. And then I will drill through the carburetor manifold to fit the two screw holes for the uh, fuel injected manifold. But there's only one thing I have to take care of, and that is to align, you know, I'll just put the, there, yeah, align the inside of that. Oh, you can't see it, but yeah, trying to line that the 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 center of the of the port here, line that center as close as I can to this center of the uh, carburetor manifold. But if you notice too, the um, holes are are not in line with the center of the the port on the carburetor manifold. So <clears throat> this is my adventure in getting this bike on the road and it's really hard to find information on fuel injection i think fuel injection is safer for turbo turbo charging um this is a um i'll just get this on the, the phone for you it's um a model rhb3 uh turbocharger or a Z something or other I can't remember what it was but yeah it's a nice little little turbo and um, I'll be putting a oil cooler on the turbo separate to the motor as well as a, a, a liquid cooling module on either side of the bike uh, which will be run on a 12 volt uh, motor um, I'll probably use two oil pumps together back to back using um, a tooth belt uh, it's called a 2GT belt and I'll just keep the the fluids flowing through it uh, no filters or anything I'll just see how that goes for the time being but yeah so as I go with the um, project um, I will let you know 
uh, where I get the parts and what works. The plan is to turn the bike into, it's, an, it's originally a trail master, but I would prefer to have a, um, a cafe racer. So I'll be converting it to a cafe racer. I've got the tank and everything now, so i uh, just got to get a seat and the like. But yeah, um, I'll be running um, a Speedwino, I think is the program that might be appropriate for it. So I'll be putting um, an Arduino uh, unit inside. This is the, um, the air filter. So I'll probably put an Arduino in there, all the brains of it in that, because I'll be running a pod filter on the turbo. So that's how it's going to work. Um, yeah, so I'll put all the, the brains of the of the motorcycle in there, and I'll map it and tune it, and um, yeah, I'll let you know how I go. Thank you very much.